<laughs> Robin. Entering the studio, Kato Kalen. He's sitting in there and he getting is. settled. Hey, also, Anthony, uh, we got to get Eric Logan on the phone. Elo. Yeah, because I don't know if the press uh, the press release has been uh, released. About uh, the arch enemy. The arch enemy thing will be revealed later on today. No big right. deal, okay? Very good. Actually, it is a big deal. We don't even know how we're going to handle this yet. I think yeah. we need some kind of on-air uh, discussion and meeting Oh, wow. You keep it on air. Fuck yeah. That will be fun. We we got to we got to ask the hard questions. Why did you do this, 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 and this to us? Now the speculation is really making our lives a living, yeah, I know. I living hell. I get him on. Also in studio, <clears throat> Patrice O'Neill. He's doing comics come home this weekend in Boston. Yes, sir. Very very funny guy. Mm-hmm. Hilarious guy. And now we got Kato Kalen to say hey, hello. Love the show, guys. I was cracking Kato. up out there. Please, it's phenomenal. You uh, you don't <laughs> know the first thing about this I radio show. I have a little show. brown spot on my nose today. <laughs> yes, I do. You guys are great. Kato Kalen. Doesn't Kato look Butchery. the same as he did 11 years Kato ago? Kato superstar up in you this do. motherfucker. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? Hit. You look the same. Are you oh, a vampire? And, and, I swear to God, I drink aloe vera juice the last 17 years. I, it must work. I, yeah. I, every day I drink it's aloe vera juice. I try to. It tastes like, it tastes like uh, snot. Liquid, yeah. it's the worst Is it really? tasting juice I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I mix it with stuff. Mix with stuff, but it works. It just works, Keeps I'm you telling you. It's yeah, been, it's been it's 11 years going. since you popped up on the... Uh, 11, 11 years. years. 11 years. Yeah. Infamy. Wait, really, I mean, really fast, I just, I'm just i glad that you got the shirt I bought you. Yeah, thanks a lot. I got wow, look at you. Two for one. Yeah. Two for one. You'll be living in your house soon. <laughs> yeah, Abercrombie, <laughs> Abercrombie and Gap. <laughs> You're going to play Kato in the movie, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Something? I like that. It'll be, I was going to say, Opie's going to be brothers. Yeah, you, you yeah. too. <laughs> like, Good-looking dude. <laughs> <laughs> Opie, I'm not gay, but you're hot. <laughs> <laughs> Opie, you can tell him Bellis and Bellis say, suck my dick. <laughs> uh, Kato, this is the part you get your dick sucked. <laughs> Opie, <laughs> get in here. Kiss my ass, my son. <laughs> And you can blow me! <laughs> I mean yeah, him. I mean him. And I go, what the fuck, dude? You got the exact same... Sh- it's exact. I go, yeah. hey, Abercrombie and Fitch. He goes, no, mine's the Gap. Gap, yeah. Ah, uh, same mine's shit. Mine's a cheap one. You're making the bucks, Opie, not me. It's the You're same You're stuff. not making money at all? Yeah, no, I'm doing good. I have a, a, right? a new show. I, I work at Lampoon. I do comedy development. So I've been there for three years. Got about five different films coming out. We have TV shows. We have our, our comedy network coming up for Radio 2006. And I have a new series. I just shot 120 episodes. 120 episodes? 120. It's, uh, it's a hysterical show. It's, uh, it's called Is it a I minute Ford. long? Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, once again, that's that sex life of mine. It's, it's, um, it's a show called... You guys, I think you guys really dig this. It's called Eye for Nine. It's, a, it's one of those... Uh, think Judge Judy meets Springer meets uh, Jackass. Yeah. We do these... Uh, the uh-oh, judge, uh-oh. The, the meets judge, Jackass right. thing. Kato, Listen, hold on. Wait a minute, or meets Fear Factor then. No, no, we just got a quick story. Anthony was... We had a quick pitch meeting with uh, people over at uh, Bravo, I guess it was. Kato, you're Bravo, looking at yeah. future TV stars. Of course. Oh, no, but trust and, you guys we've there. been there. working on this for 10 years, and the but pitch, it's going to happen eventually. The pitch was uh, <laughs> Mythbusters meets Jackass, and the person there at the, uh, the pitch meeting for Bravo was like, no... We don't ever mention jackass because of the lawsuits that are involved. We don't want to touch anything that has the word jackass in it. So we're wondering, how the hell did you pull that off? Uh, we, we, we shot the show, too. It's sold. It's already airing. Um, because uh, we... The judge hands down these cases. We don't do a thing where we slap you in the hand. Here's a hundred bucks, like every judge show. Ours is like a guy who's parking in the handicap zone. Mm-hmm. We uh, and people sign releases. This is we do the real stuff. We gave the guy an epidural. We numbed his legs. He was crippled for a day and a half, and he had to see what it was <laughs> like because the paraplegic guy uh, sued him. Good. Oh no, we do uh, all these uh, oh, outrageous things. So he's sentenced to kind of live what the other person has exactly to, uh, the judge you know we're not promoting vigilanteism but we do promote OJ going to come on the show no no it's during, <laughs> during sweeps <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. yeah he's going to get uh, no yeah. Yeah, OJ listen right, um, I have to work it's a uh, sweeps weekend yeah. well, what channel, right, what channel is that I'm here at the Mezzaluna it's, and now I got to bring the glasses where <laughs> oh, no. it's kind of it's kind of it's, uh, it's one of these things <laughs> you know it's uh, four people have died on the defense I, I was a prosecutor yeah yeah fight. Four people have died. Is this is like a, I know, you know, it's the OJ Indians. curse. Yeah. I'm, I'm really? starting to think there might be a god upstairs. Yeah, something's going on I with that. I think there might be something Unfortunately, not the, the guy that actually did it. But uh, well, yeah, uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> that's, 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 that's the thing yeah. with karma, right? Kato, have yeah, you ever come it. forward and said whether you d- absolutely believe he did it or, you know or what? didn't I, I, do it? The whole thing was, uh, I was just six months. People think I lived there forever. I was there I for know. six months. 
the media blew this thing so out of proportion. I saw the guy four times the entire time, and happened the one time was the one time he comes to the door, he looks like he's gr- lonely and crying, and going, uh, "You want to get something to eat?" And everything. And that's like the changed. first time you guys decided Every, to it's just like, it's talk. Like, and shit. Yeah, no, no, I had talked before, but it was nothing like that. It was. Oh, yeah. you I get just something to eat. I uh, what uh, in the the wrong place, wrong crime. What man. were you to to him? No, I, I was not understood. All I this. was. I never yeah, the relationship. I had. I have a became. Fr- my buddy of mine dated Nicole. I was we had a casting business together, so mm-hmm. I was the, always that third wheel guy on the dates just for fun. And then I met the kids, and they loved me. They named the dog Cato, and it was one of these things where she had a place on a, a street called Get, Get dated Green. A friend, dated a friend of yours. Dated a friend of mine. I lived before in, and, OJ. Yeah. Well, no, they were divorced. Yeah. Nicole and OJ were yeah, divorced. Yeah, they were divorced. Yeah. This they were not married during no. not married. Not married. But OJ still had, you know, they dated. Love Jones for her. Yeah. yeah, no, they got back together but not married. Got back okay. dated. But while the they were divorced and divorced, not seeing dated. each other, your friend was seeing her. Yeah, well they dated a little bit. Yeah. Dated. So and and I was the third wheel in the date. So basically I, I It was a booty the, call. Yeah. The yeah. kids <laughs> fell in love and the next thing uh uh, they got back together. OJ, she got a different place. He asked me to go to his one of his bungalows, and that that's it. And within that six months, everything happened. So you're living at the house, but how did, how did you, in the in a guest house, right? In a it's guest not house, connected. but on the same property, yeah. Same property. And how did that happen? Did he ask you to yeah. come and live there? Yeah. Oh. Well, I became not like great friends, but they when in Brentwood, very wealthy people. If you if anybody can trust you with kids, it's like you're golden. Oh, and I was there you trusted. go. So but I was not a babysitter, nothing like that. I had a casting business, but the, the plot kids, unfolds. This was the setup. The, the but kids, where were you living in uh, before this? Just before Hermosa this? Beach. Which and what were you doing? Our, Casting business. I had a casting business. Uh, but you weren't doing that films. great because no one knew. What... Kato lived no, on no, casting. It was. A, yeah. You know, I, I got my first. Co- I had a Coca- com- uh, my first commercial audition. I got Coca Cola in 1985. Okay. Uh, the week before everything happened, I read for the Jeff Daniel roles of Dumb and Dumber. I went to an academy for acting for eight years. I'd been around forever. Right. But now when I go to a premiere, everybody was there snapping pictures. And everybody. So I made it looked like I was uh, just. Kind of like capitalizing, but I swear to you guys, I've been around forever. No, and everybody out there with your look is a potential actor, also. Yeah, I mean, everybody. Like, and, and anybody that's out would there love to live in the guest house. You know, yeah. everybody wants to live in a guest house, and I, uh, I just got lucky. It's lucky. It. I mean, I got right up guest- until. Yeah, but exactly. I think the funniest part of that whole thing is that you really didn't have any relationship with OJ up until hey, cause yeah, you no, want to go I, get I some knew meat. the guy. We just didn't really like. I didn't say hey, what do you want to do tonight? Never right. like that. It wasn't the like you were hanging NFL. with OJ. I was uh, I was a quarterback in high school, but I was homeschooled, so I had yeah, friends and they made, they made it sound like you yeah. guys That's really what I'm were hanging all the time. Hanging. Eleven what? years was, later, I'm finally every, learning this. Every Why headline. eleven years ago, you didn't go. I don't really know this nigga. I don't know. said it. came out. Charles, I don't. I know this nigga like that. I know I know Patrice better than OJ. I'm yeah. going to be hanging out with this guy and living with him. He's hung out with hey, Patrice, Patrice longer than OJ. You never, you never won the Heisman, right? <laughs> <laughs> you never won the Heisman? All right. I'll, I'll... Been that, what's the Chinese judge? You should have been banging. Order in the court, Kato. Chinese judge. Ito. Listen, Ito. I don't know the motherfucker like this. Ito, Japanese. <laughs> right. Chinese is one syllable. Ito the same, the same shit. Ito. Wow. One vowel. So you barely know the guy. Oh, my yeah, God. And, uh, no, you decide I know to go guy. out that that faithful evening yeah, wasn't I, it i invite myself <laughs> kind of it, it looked, but you paid from what i remember I paid, you paid I for paid, the mcdonald's i paid and then you drive back to the house drive back to the house I, where you then eat I, separately no i walk in like i'm going into his main house like hey we're gonna eat together and he's already done with the meal and i look at him it's like oh, again this is the last i saw and it was like uh i could you, the, the face of you know, I'm done when you get out now. So I, oh, it was I go like, back and wow, that was it. persona non grata. Yeah, Wait a minute, was, but be honest. When yeah. when this thing first went down, uh, this is all gut. Then now we got to get to the gut. Yeah. When Do you know I have a new TV show. <laughs> yeah, guys, yes, you know, let's wait, talk. Wait, mention the TV show again, and then uh, we'll get back I, to I, it. I, I, it sounds great. That's, it does sound great. Oh, it's great. Great. Uh, the show so, honestly is like it's becoming like a little culty thing, and uh, Oprah just called, so it's uh, it's a good sign. That's genius, yeah. though. But you know, uh, j- this shit still lives deep. You know like, what it, it is? Just yeah, started, yeah. But it's, it's one of those things that I'm sure you are pro- so fucking sick of even talking about it, but. Whenever yeah, you, you know you, you get you, the nation was involved in this. Oh no, no, and yes. we didn't it's have a, it's, access it's totally. to the players yeah. for the first time in eleven years. That one of the players in this whole thing, OJ, Fatty Arbuckle, <laughs> yeah. and That's Jesus. The case. I was in that case <laughs> too. Fatty Arbuckle, Fatty Arbuckle, ever. Fatty Arbuckle, Jesus, and OJ is the biggest <laughs> thing going. So it's just like just one Fatty question. Arbuckle. What do you say we go to the Brown Derby and get something <laughs> to eat before I go kill this woman with a coke bottle? <laughs> 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 It is always a fast piano playing behind <laughs> fatty while he's raping women. 
<laughs> Did you have a gut? This is all I want to ask. I, I shut my big mouth. No, I just, go, when it happened. Yeah. Before anything ever happened, when you heard, you first heard, did you go, God damn, OJ? Did something in your gut go, oh, my Off God, Juice? it did because oh he was God. gone. He was gone, so you, I Did no you idea. feel he did it just in your I, balls, in your off gut? Off and on, but I thought there's no way because he caught a flight. And I didn't know anything. The, the first yeah. I heard of it, the, the cops came to my room, and I had no idea what was going on. And they said, can we come in? I said, sure. And I, I didn't even ask. And they start checking off my clothes, my shoes. Wow. And I had no idea. So I thought there was a plane crash, you know, the whole what's going on. And that was it. And the yeah, next thing was... Yeah, they would uh, tell you. Yeah. And then uh, Arnell lived on the property, too. So she and I were in the main house now, and they're questioning us. And um, next thing, Arnell was, is the uh, old OJ's wife. the uh, no the wife. daughter. The do oh, she she fine. When did you too. realize this, this whole thing yeah. was going to be huge? Crazy preliminary hearing. I went in the preliminary hearing. I walked in, and when I walked out, every photographer was saying, "Kato, Kato, over here, Kato." And that was wow. really, oh. it was within that. I'm hour, just the know. house boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw Mike Tyson house. at the Playboy Mansion. He's introduced me. He goes, "That's Kato. He's the housekeeper." <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you, he was at the Playboy Mansion wearing a blueberry wig. Was you all I was million? cracking up. He's going, "That's." He's introduced me. That's Kato. He's the housekeeper. Was you I go, no, I never was Mike Tyson, but I love you. Was he offered millions? Was you offered millions for like I, a lot of for stuff. people to I say? I never did a Kato. Just because he's never really said. I never. No. I was offered anything. anything really. Never did the uh, tablet thing. I never. But I should have because people think I did. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it was like, oh my with, god. With so much time having gone by now. Yeah. Have you? Have any new revelations come to your mind? That that banging on the, the you must well, the have multiple banging, the banging on the air. Guys, really, that whole banging thing was. Uh, I'm on the phone with this girl with a booty call, basically. This girl I seeing and I tell her she says, "Come over to my place." I said, "No, you come over to my place." And we were debating it. And I said, "Did we just have this earthquake? Because this picture moved against my and it's a wall with no no uh, window. It's just a wall." Uh huh. And the picture moved. And I'm like, oh, in in, Earth, in California, you yeah. get little earthquakes all the time. Gotcha. And that was it. And uh, then I told the, the uh, detective. I was like, oh, I heard this noise back behind this uh, a wall, and that's where they found the glove. And that's where they p planted the glove. Yeah, that's where they called the glove. <laughs> <laughs> I kept saying the cops, uh, DNA to me means dude needs apartment. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm Kato, please. He's still trying to use his acting chops. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to act his way through this. Oh, you crazy question. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. He's, Kato. He's real deflective now. It's like, so what about the glove, Kato? Well, when I saw it, I just went, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, can we get Fatty Arbuckle back? Fatty, Fatty, Fatty. Oh, Fatty. All right. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see. Uh, this see, is the way it's going to be. See, he's see, see. He's going to deflect it. He's going to deflect it. Yeah, no, no. I, I, Absolutely. I, I, I owe my I, career to uh, OJ. <laughs> I really do. I owe my career, my radio career, for the past 11 years to uh, the whole situation. Oh, really? Yeah, because yeah, Opie had a, a, a radio show by himself. I was just knocking tin. I was a sheet metal installer. Mm hmm in 94, you only been it, in the game 11 yeah, years? Yeah, 11 years. Really? Yeah. I was writing uh, uh, songs, uh, and uh, I was in a band. I was in a few bands. Uh, one thing I did was write song parodies, and we'd send them into radio stations. And one that I did was the OJ song. I was doing a contest, you know, make up songs about the case, because obviously... Because it was huge. It was all the rage. And know? sent it into Opie. He liked it. Me and my brother came on, performed it live. Me and Opie started talking. And, you know, he's like, hey, come in next week for a day, and... And before I knew it, we got an offer to go to Boston. So I, I, I owe my radio career and the now fact you're that that's the juice. Now you're lovers, the juice. and I love it. Yes. Yes. Is it no. a story We're announcing our match. Look at that. Look at all the match. good that came out of the radio. Look at all the good that came out of this. Look at what OJ did. Get white men <laughs> jobs. Why don't you got fucking me a job, OJ. <laughs> OJ got you a job. Got me a job. That's hysterical. A couple people had to get murdered for Anthony and I to do this fine radio for everybody. I was one of the white people that jumped up and down and went, yeah, when he was acquitted. <laughs> Woo, OJ, juice. That was me. Hey, that was that was Anthony in the split screen. The only white guy clapping. That's the only white guy. <laughs> Wait a minute, they slowed down and all the white people look at you oh, funny. Yeah. Did you, did you, see, see how they did that, though? They wanted to start They wanted to start that, the way they, the media wanted oh, to the divide them up. Oh. They just did the black and the white. It was it incredible. It was geared up where if he would have been convicted, there would have been a riot. Oh, no, in L.A., forget no. it. Yeah. Rodney, no, 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 no. The yeah. Rod, no, trust no. me. I live, you live in yeah. L.A.? The Rodney King thing just happened. It was L.A. was, no matter what the the jury I was there the jury would he'd walk in and they'd wave to him you couldn't see it on camera you really? just knew I'm not kidding you and he, they would just go like they would wave the juice wave in the trial I was like oh, oh my that's god delicious. oh man it was like one of the day. I was like, this guy waved, and I was like, oh my. Hey, it's the juice. They, people is like, they love the juice. Run juice, babe. He's he to this day. That, he's my favorite running back of all time. That Still motherfucker to this day. did not have one bit of bad press before that. People love. 
the they guy was adulated him. by people. The the guy was charismatic, and and the guy who was adulated by people now, I think he's sort of in hell because he doesn't have that. Where people would come up right. to him, you'd see it if you were out. People would just come up to him, autograph and all that, and he'd always do it. So now, but he's still popping sexy white girls. Though. Yep. Yeah. Have I you talked know, to him in the last eleven? No. Yeah, yeah, talk haven't to seen him. No, or, no, no one. Yeah, he don't even say the letter O no more. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't playing around I don't do juice. breakfast grapefruit juice. That's it for me, baby. <laughs> Forget that OJ. Come on, and everybody, everybody, just the but same the, joke over and over. You hear from the whole thing. It, they think it's funny. I do a lot of these celebrity golf yeah. tournaments. They always drop the glove. It's like, hey, look at look at this. Oh, I mean, it's like, oh. My guess is but yeah, everyone's, but everyone's excited to meet you because of oh, this I love whole people. thing. I, uh, the last 11 people. years, I mean, in, in general, it's been a great time. Oh, right? no, a great no, ride because I'm of telling this thing? you, it's sort of a double-edged sword. You know, it's... Uh, Who's, who's to say, like I said, I went to this academy for acting forever and I was, you know, pursuing the whole thing as I didn't change my goal. And how many, I was did a thing yesterday over at Court TV and they said, oh, the guy comes up and he goes, oh, thanks, by the way, thanks for starting our network. And yeah. it, it's a billion wow, dollar network, the wow, whole the crime wow, does pay. Man. Everybody got, yeah, court every TV. lawyer got their own show. No kidding. And I didn't yeah. stop, I didn't try to become a do lawyer. Did people ever put you down with them? Like, put, that dude, people uh, ever give it, you, in like, the beginning you, you it was down that, with a murderer. This, yeah, the, uh, it, in the beginning it was sort of like that, and now it's after like ten years, people are starting to realize like, okay, I'm an okay dude. So it's been, uh, but it takes that sort long. of bad. Yeah, no, it took me forever to work. It was, uh, I was a curiosity, and it was like, yeah. Oh. But now I have the last two and a half years or so, I'm like the the face of the Schick Razor now. Yeah. Are, are, you got Schick commercial? Schick everything. Yeah, I got a. I have to do another That's show great. called Bikini Destinations. You guys are gonna hate me. I travel with fifty beautiful beautiful women to the most exotic locations. And called, you're not married. Not married. Oh, are you doing and dirty I, shit? Are you doing I'm dirty shit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to tell you, honestly. You're a filthy man. Met, Come on, just stop being I, politically correct for what? Yeah, he yeah, is such I, a no, goddamn politician. Patrice, Patrice I'm getting tell some you what, dirty pussy, I'm man. Getting, tell the truth. Not dirty, are you getting AIDS scared? I want AIDS scared stories. It is, cleanest, it is the cleanest. <laughs> <laughs> it is going great. I can't. Are you I, doing people <laughs> circles like one on your jammy, you on a cooch? I want AIDS scares. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not all the time. Oh, no, I'm man. not all the time. <laughs> yeah. No, Damn things, it, things man. are. Uh, I, I, it's just incredible. And I'm, when I say, you know, I do these shows, and the guys always bring out these porno girls and all that. The girls that do these shows are, are like a four degrees way above that. There's drop dead gorgeous, and it's great yeah, working with really. them. Yeah, really. So it's sort of, and I'm like the only guy there with the camera crew, and it's sort of. Anyone else says drop dead gorgeous? I don't think twice. I, you hear it from you and go, huh? Hey, well, yeah. Nicole's drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, you know, you just, but no, actually, Nicole for me it was uh, she's wonderful and all that. But uh, I it was she was older for me. I'm not. Yeah, I'm yeah, totally not into about that. Like Twenty two. Oh my god! And no, se- and no <laughs> sexy <laughs> women ask you about OJ all the time, right? Oh, they don't. The Twenty two year olds. Oh, twenty. Know. They don't even. They're just know. like that. They don't know who OJ they think, is. They just know Kato. They go see people come up and they go, he's somebody. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep with you. You know the guy sleep from, from the Kato. Naked Gun movies? Naked Gun? What? I think I was three when Naked Gun was I'll out. get I naked. Was good All right. Enough. Good That's, enough. Wow. That yeah, is an interesting so, story, it's, it's, man. That stuff is just. It's phenomenal. But it was so all was... over the uh, uh, news. Like, it was the one trial that was broadcast on television that people just watched every day like a fucking soap opera. It's amazing. Oh, oh, oh Anthony, it, I had was uh, uh, everyone. Uh, Larry King show. I was doing that. Uh, uh, Sadat, Anwar Sadat. Sadat. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, is that the guy I'm thinking of? No, uh, the the beard, the Palestinian. What's his name? Oh, uh... Uh, Arafat. 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 Arafat called Larry King. He wanted to meet Cato. This is the weirdest stuff that happened to me. He, he, he was in a <laughs> bunker Arafat. watching the sh- uh, thing and wanted to meet Cato. This is true stuff. I, an Arab sheik. I was uh, at a dinner with uh, uh, Larry King the first time I did the show. Uh, and this Arab sheik comes up he, he, and his girls all over and there's like autographs. <sighs> he says to uh, the lawyer I was with at the time, he says, uh, I like to buy uh, Cato for $10 million. And I swear to you, it's so true that the guy <laughs> wanted to meet, it, to take me back to Saudi Arabia to meet girls. It's like, I'd be in the... Did the, you not? You the, said no, exactly, you no, integrity no. mother... <laughs> well, come on, I'm going to live in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. The because pride? at the time, I kept thinking, $10 million, I'll make that next year. <laughs> yeah. No. And now I'm shopping at the Gap. <laughs> Ten years goes by like this. Let me tell you how oh, much did, how old it? I am. It's like it, okay, so I'm, I had to be 24, I guess, when this started. Here's the thing: I see Mark Furman. He's mm-hmm. like some dude who does things now. It's like Mark yeah. Furman. He's a, a writer. Mark, he's like a the writer. And yeah. I go. That racist motherfucker. It's like, but that was ten years ago. But I haven't even let Mark Furman go. I, I have <laughs> well, not Mark let Furman, him go. Mark Furman did Oprah, the big best PR move of his life. Yep. He did Oprah, and he, he was forgiven right there. When he did Oprah. Yeah. yeah all you got to do is apologize for, you, you know. just got to apologize in this country. Uh, you're, bad you're, language. You're what did he apologize for? I mean, look how many rap stars have criminal records that have shot people. But that's, still, that's the whole part of the culture. Oh. 
You know, you don't what do mean? reps. You got a gun on you. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got shit on oh, me. But the part of the culture is like that makes you cool. It's, that's PR to be a yeah. killer. But that's it. Furman came out of that looking worse than OJ. Did, I swear to God, he came out of that whole thing looking worse yeah. than OJ did. Oh yeah, he did. So Oprah for a while gave him now, a pass? But now he's a, 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 a Oprah gave him. A, oh yeah, a now he's like respected yeah, as a writer and yeah. What, what is yeah. Judge Ito up to? Uh, that guy, four foot three, <laughs> very short dude. Here we go. But that no, guy, Judge Ito, is, I think that he's guy disappeared the... though. He's one of the only ones that really disappeared. You see Charles the rest Darden of them coming up. Charles Darden did too. Charles Darden, they got uh, Chris rid of Darden, too. Chris Darden, Chris Darden, Charles Darden. I guess Charles he didn't disappear. Darden. Chris, Chris, yeah. Darden, Chris Darden disappeared, but Chris Marshall Darden. Clark is still floating around. Just some stuff. Yeah, well, they yeah. are just known as the ones that fucking blew it. And I think she's a sexy, ugly woman, man. I just oh, Marsha. When she had the mid-trial makeover, the mid-trial makeover. You guys, you guys, I gotta tell you. And everybody was everybody in Hollywood was offering me to come in to do the and the thing that why it looked so sloppy is I could have gone and done the whole thing I didn't because I thought people would go look at he he did a makeover and they're all so doing I didn't. fucking makeover and I was I was afraid to even get a haircut so yeah. people would think like his integrity oh. is really killing him man you should be in here with a diamond car <laughs> <laughs> because it's like he, this integrity yeah. thing he's very smart am, but it's, it's, it, it's did him in he should have just did the Hollywood thing yeah and you, no you'd but be you fine, know what it's, it's, I should have only because people think. I did. So I took a beating. Right, right. Things that I never even did. Wow. And I was like, and if I try to defend myself, it becomes a snowball effect. Well, if you defend yourself, then you did it. And I'm like, yeah, people assume like uh, that you, you sold your stories. Exactly. And, Damn. Yeah. So Very I am a planned kind of just, trying not to I didn't want be it. smarter I than we thought. I right. remember like you on the stand yeah. being very vague about the whole thing. Like well, they, the, they, and it I'll, seemed I'll like they were why. getting pissed at you. Because you, you get questioned. I was prosecuting witness. You get questioned by them beforehand. Yeah. And then I am talking to her about everything that she's going to say, and she did none of the questions, and I'm going, oh. So it's like studying for finals, and you get a complete different exam. Different test. And I look like a fool. They and that's what I, that was none of the things. She, I'm going, wait, when did you ask me? In my head, I'm going, when did she ask me this? What's going on? So I was. it, it made me look like, uh, first of all, people thought I was hiding, and I'm like trying to think in my head. Yeah, it when came across like you were me? trying. You were being so and vague. Like, it was I'm almost like, coming oh off my, as evasive. It, it's like Kato's I was the nice most guy. honest Honest person yeah. in the world. I would have said, "Hey, man, ho, ho, ho! You didn't ask me that shit yesterday." Yeah. <laughs> you but you don't. But you, you don't know. Me, nigga. And they don't Hold tell up. you. They don't tell you stuff that you can do. I didn't know I could stand up and demonstrate things. I thought it was just I had to be sit there and. Really. First time in my entire li entire life I was ever in a courthouse, courtroom ever. I don't mm -hmm. even have parking tickets. First time ever I was. It's that. Out. It's yeah. that fucking case. It's that, and that's right. my first case. You know, uh, you know, <laughs> double homicide. At least get me in with, like, you oh, know. If he was black, he would have been saying all kinds of stuff. He didn't know, but he heard about it. Listen, <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah. I order in the court, motherfucker. Yeah. And, 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 and look at man, I got the right to bear arms, baby. Up, motherfucking injection. <laughs> I am pro bono up in this motherfucker. I'd like a black guy with you. I got a pro bono objection and motherfucking compass. <laughs> <Injection. laughs> <Is> Delectide. <laughs> Kano just didn't know. It's not yelling shit. No. So they say, she didn't ask me this. <laughs> no, no idea. Uh, what's this sub pen thing? <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, that's, you got just a great story, Kato. And don't forget, oh, yeah. that is some yeah. fucking story. Eye for an eye. Watch Eye for an Eye. Yes, oh, Eye for an Eye. eye, for an eye. It's, what it's, channel? It's a freaking natural. Yeah, where is that? Where uh, can we it's, find uh, that? It's 80% uh, of the co uh, covered in the country. January starts up in uh, LA. We're, I mean, in uh, New York, we are. Uh, here to discuss with two different networks. Oh, okay. So, but we're on WB in LA, and uh, you guys, can, I think you can pick it up on the dish. But yeah. it's doing, uh, like I said, it's it right. really is pretty pretty doggone. Yeah, funny. it sounds pretty and cool. And we're going to start a second season with that stuff. And the bikini destinations, I, sh I shot six of those. Bikini destinations. Hey, uh, Kato, you, uh, can I? You take me along with you? Yeah, and maybe oh, uh, a pay per view. I got the National Lampoon Strip Poker now. All this stuff. Strip oh, <laughs> strip poker. Yeah, I poker's I host, all the rage. I host that with Fred Stoller. You know Fred, I'm sure. Fred. Freddy Stoller, comic. He's, <laughs> old, he's old or something, right? I'm not real old. Kato, we haven't played this in years. Put on the OJ stuff now. Wow. I know you're used to it, right? When you do radio shows, but the, the, but this is important because this was That's the song that old Anthony one. wrote oh, and I sang. Hear that. Yes. That got us together. This was actually when we thought OJ was oh, going to be put away. This was before the trial started. Oh, real audio like, quality? It's like July, August. We assumed, we assumed that uh, he was going to be put away. They were going to give him the fucking chair. This was it. It was so sewn up. But uh, no. <laughs> so <laughs> The jury was waving at the juice when but, he came yeah. in. Yeah. Can you imagine? Like, waving. Who knew? Oh, they went to his party, too, so... But when the song, when you know, we did the song, it was. Uh, this is the beginning. I love it this already. Is the this is it. It started. I guess. This is my radio. In Los Angeles jail, and the judge won't let me post my bail. Now this could be the end of me, 'cause California's got that death penalty. Dick 
Anthony doesn't want people to know this, but there's a video to that, too. Is there? Oh, right. Fuck. Yeah. There's a video know. to that that we should yeah. get up on the website today. Yeah, we haven't played that, that song in, I, I couldn't even tell you, it. five years. Oh, Literary wow. Shock. Brilliant. Electric shock. shock. Well, that's when we thought, you know, silly us. Yeah. <laughs> thought he was guilty, and, you and now he's a, golfing. Oh, You're going to have to win an Oscar award. To take OJ, uh, like, make it uh, big. Oh, no, it'll, oh, it'll, it'll, the it'll show. still be Oscar winner, who you might remember as the guy yeah. that was in the house. And you want to be mature. known as the witness. That's it. You want to be mature and just go, hey, Kato, hey, yeah, when, 11 years ago. You, you just yeah. got to go, juice, man, juice, 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 juice. It's going to be 20 okay, years. Baby. 20 it's, years, 30 years, it's going to be, dude. So what the crazy. fuck, man? What yeah. happened? The banging, the fucking OJ <laughs> ran by, the guy ringing the bell. What the fuck? I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> Kato, one question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one. <laughs> yeah. Best supporting. Kato, one question from the press. You wrote, directed, starred in this film, won Oscars for all of that. What was OJ like when he was alone? And <laughs> hey, Kato, what the drug connection? Was there? No, I just I want to thank the Academy. Here. His speech is going to be, I didn't know the nigga that well. <laughs> yeah. Four times. Yeah. Four fucking times. My fourth yeah. Academy Award. One more question, Cato. <laughs> Physicist uh, Cato Kalen has just come up with. The, oh, what happened with the glove? And, <laughs> yeah. Astronaut Cato Kalen lands on Venus. Cure for pneumonia. <laughs> Uh, Cato, this is Mission Control. Um, the, the glove, do you think the cops really... Uh... <laughs> does it, does, it, does a day go by, Cato, where you don't talk about it? Yeah, you know, if They're I'm staying alone. alone, yeah. When you're you know, alone, I, like I'm in New York and we're going out every night, so someone always drunk or whatever always yeah. comes up. What's the one question that you're sick did, of hearing? Uh, did he do it? Did, did he? he do oh, it? and that's the yeah. so first question we asked. Yeah, yeah. But he can't oh, no, help yeah, us. Yeah, well, that, we, but no, that's the one question. Did he, did he feel like he did? Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Did you guys are cool. You guys are cool. The first the first day I got here on Wednesday, this is true. I come off the plane and I I said I want to get a slice of pizza, so I'm walking the street and I see this this guy come walking by me. And sometimes people look, they go, yeah, you're that actor dude, you're that actor dude. Hey, and he's got two law books. And um, and I go, hey, that's great, good, you're studying law. He goes, no, no, I, I stole these books. He goes, hey, Cato, I just got out of prison, man. And he recognizes me now. And he goes, will you sign these? So I sign the books. Oh because I'm trying to get a ticket to fill You get recognized wherever you go? Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, he's a yeah. pretty recognizable guy. 
Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool when you get air, in the pilots and the airplanes and everybody when you're traveling. They just go, hey, what's up, Cato? Well, it's you not a like one-hit you know, wonder thing going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Definitely. I, I, I did. I, I thought of a title for something. It's, it's called The 16th Minute, where you go beyond after 15 minutes. I'm in my 16th yeah. minute. Yeah, he's a creative guy. Look at that. The 16th yeah, well, Minute. development, baby. Oh, I'm in National Lampoon, and I got a show. Well, I'm on fire, Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up, baby. You know what's great about it? He's got, he's got no, a good no, attitude go. as far as... <laughs> You know, I'd be like, Jesus, enough with this fucking crap. But he's Hollywood. He's got the good Kendall attitude about Hollywood it. Hollywood is motherfucker. He is geniusly mm -hmm. Hollywood. So you would like to see him in that that time of man. Fuck. Yeah. Well, oh no, I, I really think I think people uh, relate to a lot of people in Hollywood. You know, obviously, yeah. there's jealousy. It's like people hate you for no reason, and you don't. They don't know you, and I, I hate nobody. But the whole thing is, uh, it, it's getting better and better and better that people are starting to get it. And I have a show, and they're going, "Hey, the guy's kind of yeah. funny." This, yeah. So, oh, and oh, that is, oh it, when you go, to you think this? You think this aloe juice and nice guy thing is real? I, yeah, I definitely do. You do? I do too. I I, I feel it is not no pretentious it. horse shit. He's been on for like a half hour, forty minutes. You can't fake it. I don't think you can fake it. You would see it in his eyes or something yeah, like. Yeah, All right, yeah, guys, yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> really an aloe vera. Because we've been nice guy. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. been doing this where we have to, you know, ask the questions, and you see it in people's eyes, like. Oh, God, oh, God. He doesn't have any of that. <laughs> you do. Let's say hi to Larry in Indiana. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey man, Larry. Hey. I, Kato Kalen is more popular than Kiss. I like this guy. All right, why, Larry? He came to Terre Haute, Indiana, just about the same time that the trial was going on. I can't remember if it was over or if it was like during a break or whatever. But <laughs> the, one of the local radio stations brought him in, and they brought him into the mall. I bet there was 10,000 people at the mall Jesus. just to see this guy. And the last time Kiss has come through, they only had about 5,600 people. So does that tell you how popular this guy was? 10,000 people in the mall? Damn, Damn. it was 10,000. I, I remember that in Terre Haute. They were great to me there. Wow. There was more people at the mall just to see him than would probably be in there. Well, there was a sale the gap. Christmas season. <laughs> yeah. Y'all ready to rock? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah no, I it, was, think. it was funny. Yeah. I did like a morning radio show, and I said, yeah, I'll be stopping this mall, and it was, uh, yeah, CNN covered and everything. It was That's like, so I was cool. blown away. Damn. And I had, like, the girls, the fan club stuff. It was uh, pretty incredible. Let's go to John in Arkansas. John? Hey, bo -bo -bo boys. Hey, John. Hey, girl, Patrice. <laughs> uh, I just <laughs> wondered, man, when all that went down, uh, Kato, did you ever feel like that you were fixing it? You know, like it all could be pinned on you if he's going to shift it off on you or anything like that. Or if you just knew right off that you were going to be clear of it. Yeah, that was the very first day the uh, detectives walked in. I knew that. I had, didn't know what happened, but they checked everything out. And, uh, mm. yeah, I, I had no problems. I never thought that. Well, this guy also wanted to say that the media made uh, Kato look terrible. What was the one oh, yeah, thing yeah. the media was slamming that you were like, oh, my what, God, I that is not what I'm about? I, there was a thing that... Uh, Freeloader. Free I was right. never not working. I yeah. was working, but uh, also, and uh, I, first of all, never, ever, <laughs> no one ever believes this, I don't do drugs, never did drugs, because I don't oh, need man, to. Oh, man, they made you and look like you were did a this thing, her. And I, I, that was the one thing I really got mad, because huh. I've always been... Seriously, really straight, because I, I had the long hair. They just did this, and they went over and over. I was this drug guy, and I was like... I mean, it was, wow. It, it was, for me, it was just like, oh, man, it was just terrible. What and I knew... It was over and over, and there's some guy wrote a book about this, this I won't say the writer's name, and I had gone to dinner with him a few times, and he's a very prolific writer. You guys know who he is, and I was like, oh, the guy stabbed me in the back, and it was like... it. Well, stab him back in the back. What's yeah, that nigga's exactly. name, man? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just... Damn, this nigga's Hollywood. Right. I like him, but... He loves everybody. Yeah. No, 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 no. It was terrible. Bridge. I was like, oh, jeez. But anyways, that was, a, that was a really bad thing because people looked at me differently, and I, I couldn't stand it. Huh. All right, let's uh, go to Ron in Pennsylvania. Ron? Yeah, hey, guys. Good hey there, Ron. Hey, Ron. Hey, hey, good morning, Patrice. Hey, you're killing this week, man. You're really helping the show. Love but Patrice on yeah, the show. Yeah, Patrice has been doing sir. great Thank for you. us. Appreciate it. She's, she's great. <laughs> hey, I want to ask Kato, man, if he's ever heard of a band out of Chicago called Kato the Houseboy, a buddy of mine, Richie Whitman, uh, they do it, and uh, man, they're really talented, even just for, uh, if you wanted to do it for the novelty, find out, uh, the band's got some CDs out, and uh, if you like the man, I don't know if you can do something if you got room for a band on the show or whatever, but... Uh, you guy's trying to pitch uh, I'm band. only it's here for a, a day, but yeah. I'll talk to Opie and Anthony. I think we can yeah. get him in. It's a band. And I, I actually got a, a, a CD from those guys, Kato. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, they sent me one. Very good. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I love that. I do have it. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> you He's just oh, look at him, the nicest to, guy. Uh, Look, he loves everybody. He's disgusting. No, I do have it. He That's why he wasn't a su uh, suspect. Not at they, all. They're trained to know. He, they just go. Yeah. Uh, where was you? Can't... I was drinking <laughs> yeah, Adam's yeah. juice. Yeah, they kept like, hitting McDonald's. Come on, Kato, tell us one thing you don't like. One thing you don't like. You've been a little too nice. Give us some evil. Give us the name of that goddamn author. Or, or no, I, I, I would, but uh, there'd be a lawsuit. All right, I'll just tell you guys up oh. there. I, I would definitely do it. I, just give us some evil. Some evil. Uh, what don't you like? Something. Or oh, who's a God. dick? Yeah, yeah, who's just a dick? You have a fucker girl that said, "Put on a glove. Put on some gloves." <laughs> <laughs> the glove, love, yeah. And, no, and, no, and do the Heisman polls as you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens every night. What are you talking about? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. God damn it. What a dude! Like what a life! It's like it's just. Uh, do you think you I, think I you would have made, you I, I, made I, I, it in a business I don't, I don't, without this? You think you? St uh, you do I, I? Who's to say? But I think so. You, and I think you know, yeah, yeah. I, I did already two pilots before. Something would have happened. With the guy. Mm -hmm. I had three commercials out. It was kind of. All right, happening. he was going to say something. What was sorry, it? Sorry, sorry. Uh, marriage. I don't like marriage. Why? Hey, there you I go. Love, I, because I just think it's uh, it's too tough to find one woman, and I, I would know. I wouldn't want to cheat, man. I would just love to be with a few. Quite yeah. a few. What and I, be I believe in having more than one, one wife. But do you want kids? Yeah. I actually have a daughter. So I already oh, have a Oh, well, there you go. And she's in the car. Can we bring her in because it's been like three hours? In the car. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> left the window rolled down a little bit. <laughs> I could be on my own show. Now, we, had a, we, had a, we had one of the shows uh, with the um, uh, a guy left a dog in the car. So we put him in the kennel for a weekend. Oof. It's true. I kind of like, I like the concept him. of the new show. We should uh, bring it all back around. Uh, talk yep. about the new show I again. Eye for an eye. I, I, for an eye. I, I like the idea eye. a lot. Definitely like it. And it's, uh, good, it's, good, it's going. It's going. It's, it's going. It's just big guns. It's going to happen. So we what if somebody say, messes up the dry cleaning? One of those kind of. Cases. Oh, we did a dry cleaning episode. It was it was the, one of the best shows ever. The dry guy said he could get any kind of stain. They brought in one of these really nice carpets, uh, and the, uh, the guy ruined the carpet. So the judge ruled that they could go into their house, the dry cleaner's house, and do the equal amount of damage to their house and anything in the house. And the lady that did it, she destroyed. Everything. She went nuts. We have a bailiff that's named Big Sugar Ray Phillips. He was the heavyweight champion, <laughs> uh, uh, middleweight heavyweight champion, from 77 to 81. He lost to Hagler, and he couldn't even stop her. She, I mean, she put paint and everything on the computer, just tore the place apart. And the other lady, spot on the rug? Well, no, the, the rug was like one of those. Uh, that's like really testicles for an eye. Ones. But I'm telling you, the lady was bawling that lived in the house because the wife didn't know. The husband said it was okay to come in uh, to the dry cleaner. It was a brilliant show. Great stuff. That's so a good show. Though. Yeah, you're yeah. you gonna have to send us a copy. So we yeah, can, I'll send you copies. Of the show. You we'll do? take a What's, peek and then we'll talk about the some more. I do the opening and I do the uh, like uh, the Springer part in the audience and I do the revenge. I'm there on location doing the whole oh. setup. I like the so concept. So I do the That's open, good, open middle, it. close. I like the concept. Eye for an eye. All right. Uh, promoting anything else there? Yeah, actually, you guys, uh, I'd love you to see this uh, shick spot because you'll crack up. It's www. That's the power of four. The number four. dot com. That's the power of four. dot com. Uh, I, I think I know your sense of humor. I think you guys will really dig it. It's okay. pretty damn funny. It's the razor blade that makes you more humpable. That's the ad. So more humpable. More humpable. If you use this razor, you will get laid. All right. <laughs> that's the. That's what they're saying. So Better it's back just a great that up. Thing. And, and bikini destinations. Uh, yeah. Strip poker. Everything's there. You're a busy it's, guy. It's going great. That's good. Hey, you guys. Honestly, I Kato. waste time, man. It was phenomenal. Absolutely. Thanks Patrice for coming Fucking great looking guy in his picture. Look at his old. He has yeah. his picture. Dude, he hasn't aged. He just cut his hair a little bit. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Cut your hair. Still Tell looks like hair. the same guy. Pretty pretty fucked up. Up. Dude, it's fucked up. Drinking that. What, what the fuck are you drinking? <laughs> aloe vera. I mix, I mix aloe vera? It with, I mix it with pomegranate. So what is I aloe think, vera supposed to do, though? It's a, You know how it's a healing for the skin if you put on cuts? Yeah, so yeah. if you drink it, it's just that much more healing. Oh, so, yeah, I, yeah, I try to cut Half and half. Just try with half with your favorite juice. Let's get a little rough. Your juice. Who said that? Juice. I heard, I heard juice. Pomegranate. I heard pomegranate. No, but really, it's, really it's, good too. it's great. Yeah. Pomegranate is just supposed to be really Everything. Good too, right? Cleans you out. That's and the then rage. You, uh, then you have yeah. your pure. And then All right. your body. Look That's at great. that. A little health tip, too. Thank you. It's Kato Kalen, everyone. This was great. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Michael, thank you. Rob, bitch. Rob.